Beam down smoke. Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about what to do with the end of the operation and also a brief message about the recent market glitch. Alright, so starting off with this market glitch, we have a very weird, unprecedented glitch that we've never seen before in all of CSGO history. Basically what ended up happening was people who wanted to sell items, it didn't actually show up on the market itself. The listings did not appear, which meant that a lot of things got pretty inflated because people were buying the items but no new supply was being put on the market, which caused the prices to only go up. At the time of recording this video, this glitch is still not fixed, hopefully it is by the time this video goes up though, but if it's not fixed by that time, just so you know, buying items right now is probably not the best idea just because they are inflated prices. And after this glitch gets fixed, a lot of stuff could either crash or kind of equalize at a slightly higher price. It kind of depends on how sell orders are going to execute and if a lot of people actually have sell orders up right now. Unfortunately, this supply bottleneck happened at the same time as this market glitch, so there could be some weird things with prices, so we're just gonna have to kind of, you know, actually ride the waves and see what happens. Now, with that out of the way, let's talk about Skin Bay pretty briefly and then get into the actual video topic. So if you don't already know, Skin Bay is a beautiful site with a very easy to use user interface, and of course, it also has very good prices. So if you wanna go check out Skin Bay, be sure to use my link in the description below. It helps the channel out quite a bit, and I hope to see you there. Make sure if you buy anything to go ahead and let me know what you buy and I'll tell you what my opinion is on it. And now we move on to the actual video topic. So the video topic for today is of course the end of the operation, how you should proceed with selling, and what my opinion is on how this is actually going to go. So to start off, the main thing here is that selling at the end of the operation is going to be very user dependent and very portfolio dependent. It's going to depend on how much risk you actually took on for your portfolio and what items you bought and basically how much it's worth. So the main thing here is that there's going to be a supply bottleneck that occurs at the end of the operation. This occurs in a lot of forms in CSGO, but the main thing that's happening here with this operation in specific is the supply bottleneck is, of course, going to make items unobtainable through the battle pass. It's going to be only through trade-ups, which is going to cut off the main primary source of the items. So the main reason that the supply bottleneck is going to cause prices to rise is because of scarcity. The items are going to be more unobtainable, which means they are going to be more scarce, and as every good economist knows, scarcity drives price. And honestly, it's as simple as that. Scarcity drives the price up, people are going to sell their items for higher prices because they're not as obtainable as they were before, and prices are going to rise. Now the real complexity of this comes down to short term versus long term and how long you actually want to hold these items. So if the items obviously go up like crazy at the beginning of the operation, at this point obviously I don't know if that's going to happen because I'm recording this video in advance, but if that does happen and the spy bottleneck hits and the items just skyrocket like crazy and you make a bunch of profit, then go ahead and sell. Because if you're making profit, then there's not really any reason for you to regret not making more profit, because you still made money in the end. This operation also had a wide variety of items, which means there's also going to be a variety in terms of how long the items are going to have to be held before they are pretty profitable. For example, when it comes to something like the Baroque Purples, those were an item that were heavily invested into because people really just were able to buy those at pretty much no risk because they were low-cost items. This means that the Baroque Purples are going to be a longer-term investment, simply because there's going to be a lot more selling waves when they hit profitable margins. So basically when the item hits a higher price, a bunch of people are going to sell for profit and the cycle is going to continue as the item continues to get higher in price. Which means that I can pretty confidently say the Baroque Purple is going to be a long term thing and probably not something you're going to want to sell short term. This dynamic sort of shifts when you look at something like the P90 Astro Roman Gunder or the Glock 18 Synth Leaf, which were not as heavily invested into, which means they could be a lot more susceptible to short-term hype. If you look at the price breakdowns of these, of course, on the first page alone, they spike all the way up to like double their current price versus something like the Emerald Jormungandr, which a lot more people invested into because it was a lot more popularized, and of course because it's a lot more desirable item. And because of that, if you look at the first page of Desert Eagle Armored Jormungandrs, they don't really rise that much. There's not really like a steppage occurring in their prices where it goes from like one specific price to like a specifically higher price instantly. I think what it boils down to is hyper investment. So basically if something was very, very invested into like crazy, then it's going to be a longer term thing to hold on to. Obviously it's still going to go up because, you know, trade-ups are the only way to access these things now, but one of the main things here is that the less invested something was, the higher price it's going to have if it's a desirable item. This means that something like the Glock Synth Leaf has a pretty good chance of being a good short-term investment rather than a long-term one because it's going to be one of those items that wasn't as heavily invested into, but it also is fairly desirable to the point where it could rise in price very rapidly. As for items like the Augmented Lily and the Desert Eagle Armored Dormungunder, what I'm going to see with those is they're going to be more of those kind of snowball items, where basically if their price starts to go up, it will go up really rapidly and really fast and to a very high point, simply because a lot of people are interested in those items 
items in terms of investing into them. So people are going to be watching their prices and if they start to go up like crazy, people are going to continue to buy into them, which can kind of snowball and make the price really, really skyrocket. When this rapid price increase occurs, it could be either long term or short term. It kind of depends on what the price actually starts to snowball. So we'll have to see. I do think it could be more of a short term thing simply because these are both very desirable items. What I would recommend for you is to kind of just follow the same sort of idea. So basically, if you have a lot of Desert Eagle Armor Dorman Gunders or Augment Night Lilies, for example, I would hold on to those for a little bit longer, wait for a big snowball to occur, and then maybe sell on that snowball. If you have something a little bit smaller like the Broke Purple, I would hold on to it for a long time. And if you have something that has a pretty good susceptibility to rising in price fast, simply because it wasn't hyper invested into, like the Glock Synth Leaf, you can maybe try to sell that earlier because there's not really a very good chance of it continuing to go up price after that point. If you have something super expensive though, like the AK Wild Lotus or the Op Prince or the Op Gun Gear, I would hold on to those for a very long time. Those are items that are only going to increase in price and they can't decrease in price pretty much by any means. They're always going to be high demand, they're always going to be god tier items, and simply they're always going to be bought, which means that they're only going to increase in price. I would recommend holding on to these for a very long time if you do have them, because they're basically just going to be profit generators. And with that said, that's pretty much going to close out this video. There's not really much more to say on the subject. Hopefully I was able to kind of guide you towards how you should structure your selling for this operation. I don't usually tell people what they should do with their own personal portfolios, but just for this video alone, I will actually allow questions on basically personal portfolios and personal kind of financial advisement, or what my opinion is on your items itself. If I'm wrong about it, that's your own risk. You're taking on risk by asking another human to do something like that for you. So I'm not some kind of prophet. I'm not going to be like 100% infallible, but I'm going to give you my best shot on the factors that I know. So if you do have a question about your items or your inventory or your portfolio, and you want me to answer them in terms of what I should think you should sell, just go ahead and join the Discord server. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to respond instantaneously, but I'll do my best. If you want to go join the Discord server or check out my Twitter, those are both in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want the latest investment updates before anybody else on YouTube and of course the greatest investment updates and be sure to turn on notifications so you can get those notifications instantaneously for my new videos and always be there at the right time. Also be sure to check out my skin bay link to support the channel it really does help me out quite a lot and also be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and if this helped you out. If you have any further questions be sure to leave me a comment or join the discord server. Thank you guys so much for the support I'll see you all next time. Peace.